facing downrange and I'm back in here. So again, you know, if I'm working in a team or something like that, if it's a, if it's a attack unit or even if it's a if it's a military unit doing fighting in built-up areas or anything like that, chances are I'm going to be covering my area of responsibility or whatever. If not, if I'm just stacked up and we're getting ready to roll, and all of a sudden things start happening. Now, usually things are pretty dynamic, and you know, if he started shooting, pow pow, that type of thing, I'm going to step in from behind it. But this time, instead of being back to back, I'm standing here. So what's going to happen this time is I'm going to step out and around. Okay, so I'm gonna step out and around. Why? Well, because I'm helping him out. But the other thing too is that I want him to see that my muzzle is up and online, and I'm good and I'm in to engage the targets with him. Bust! What do I want to be mindful of again? Well, we were already talking about it. If I start shooting from back here, what's gonna to happen to him the moment I hit the trigger? He's gone. Keep it in mind. So again, you're stacked up with your partner. If you want, you can have a hand on. Usually I just put, put my shoulder into them so that I can feel what they're doing. As soon as he starts to engage, obviously, I'm gonna step in and assist because a couple of things might happen. If he gets hit here, if something bad happens to him, I may have to step around to guard him. And that type of issue, right? And I've seen, I have actually seen that happen. Or a police officer would have had to do that to one Now, Jordan asked a question too, what about going kneeling? I could, but myself, getting up and out of a kneeling position to move is also difficult. So what you can do in this particular situation, if you want to drop offline so that you want your partner to have a good clear shot, another thing that you could do, so if I'm in here again and I'm ready to roll, is I can drop down to a paddy squat and shoot from a squatting position. Okay, and that's it, again, we're going to get into more positional shooting tomorrow. We're going to shoot from different positions like that, like paddy squats, you know, kneeling, prone, urban prone, that type of stuff. Junkyard prone. Because all of those things make sense because they lower your target signature. But as well, you've got to use your, use your mind. You know, if I go to a knee here, how long is it going to take me to get up if he's got to run? I've got to get up and I've got to run. And, and that can be an issue. Whereas, if I'm in the paddy squat here, can I start to move? Mm -hmm. I can start to get out of there as well. Okay? Bust! Come on, Come on! Coming! 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 Back up! Loading! Back up. Six clear! Back in. Reloading! Coming! Coming. Coming. Back in! Back in. So my name is Earl Green with Phase Line Green Tactical. We're here today with Ryan from Funker Tactical. And if you like what you see, please comment and subscribe. got like a few shots outside there, right? Yeah. But it's still all like, you can tell it's just the height over bore issue. Yeah, and I think some of that's me. I'm trying to hold up, but I'm, I have a feeling I'm zeroing in on the hole I see and just... I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I think I'm starting to have that same problem. Yeah, I'm I gotta just... Uh, just ahead of yep. there. I'm just gonna go ahead of you guys. I gotta unload here. Oh, okay, yeah, I should go for it.